All right, what's up, my brothers and sisters? In this video, I'm just gonna do a little short breakdown. And when I mean short, I don't mean sh uh, short. I mean as long as I can go on, and whether how long, however long it takes. So let's start with. Uh, oh, this is a uh, combined service of January. So let's start with this part here. I get up just over here. And I look at the, how the screen just uh, creates this very white light and then it bounces off on the ceiling here on these two sides. Just want to highlight to you how bright the LED screen actually is, even compared to the two projector screens, it is overwhelming. Look at the reflection on the floor here. Uh, yeah, so that is how bright and your ceiling as well. The truss here can be seen. So be very uh, cautious of how how much or uh, how much uh, intensity you put out on the LED wall. All right, mm, white is gonna be extremely bright. Uh, let's move right along. Uh, go forward to the start. The intro is about here. So this is the intro. We have. Uh, this so this is nice fits the mood the mood of the intro that intro part thingy I like how the LED comes out at the same time where the drums the snare drums comes out um, almost the same time two three four one two three four one two three four very close to, to when the snare drums comes in and if you uh, listen in to how the snare drums sit and that's a very different uh, quality compared to the other instruments let's say the guitar or even the, the other other drums drumming kind of stuff it's a very snappy it's a very sharp uh, sound and then you can count with it and when you count with it you can often do uh, very snappy changes to, to your lights as well so you can use it to flash you can use it to uh, up and down your LED graphics very quickly especially with the MIDI controller just go one two three four so for, so for example this is uh, I'm, I'm pushing up the fader you can do some one two two three four one two three four if you're on the uh, if you're on the lights lights button don't do this just use the flash button and press the flash button. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Count with it. So you can either do it on every beat, every other beat, or uh, on uh, every fourth. So if you remember how to count, you can count. One, two, three, four. And let's take a look at it again. One. So if you listen to the snare, the snare is like. On, on the second beat, one, two, three, four. The, the snare is on the second beat. Four, one, two, three, four. Oh no, the snare is not on the second beat. The, the snare is on every other beat. So, two and four. So, you can see how you want. You can play with every beat, every other beat, or every, every beat. So, when the song starts here, uh, when the song the intro, intro stops, then this person uh, kind of comes in and then blah blah blah. We, we can leave the lights on for a little longer so that uh, we keep the, the, the mood there. And then while you're doing that, you change your pages or change your whatever. The reason why I leave the graphics on is so that it doesn't look so bland while everything is still uh, uh, transiting. And uh, the face lights is on now. so. Uh, uh, I like the part where, it, when the when the music, uh, yeah, when the song starts straight away, the lights comes in at, at the right time. But at this at this point, it's, it's nice to put something there. Yeah, you can see how exactly at the music starts, bam, the lights comes in straight away, and then mm, let's fast forward. I saw something. This is this is fine I guess. Okay look at the, the gobo. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three,
Can you uh can you kind of see that split second where the gobo spins? I mean if if you are very critical on things, I, I personally don't like to see that. This uh uh most people won't won't realize it but once when when you start to see hey, something something felt quite uh off uh then you, you start to ask yourself then this is the the really nitty gritty details so i would say that if if throughout your whole song choose whether you want to have gobo or you don't have gobo i mean the good thing is that we changed it at the time when the the lyrics are uh, the lyrics come in so that's that's great in the way that uh it sings with the the lyrics come the singing the vocals coming in and most people won't realize it as uh, obviously as easily and that's a good thing so try to avoid uh, doing gobo spins or color spins when it is uh, visible so what you can do is either turn it off spin and then change the color so it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of work to do do that uh, moving in dark or is it moving in dark or moving black kind of thing where uh, the concept is how like I, I use all the moving your um, setting everything in position first in the way that you want then you turn on your dimmer so that's the idea behind it so let's move uh, forwards Forward, forward. You can hear the hear the drums. Uh, it, it really helps to count count with the beat. One, two, three, four. Count, so so you can you can choose how you want to sing sing with the the music. You can sing with the drum beat. Can sing with the vocals like won't be silent in one two three four not be shaken bam 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 things like that all right and then when when it's on the verse you can do something else different and then so for so for one part of the verse you can do it in a certain way another part of the verse you change it around and do it another way maybe you flash one set of lights you need to flash another set of lights or you stroke then you don't stroke things like that so let's move uh, I will ride along and also listen out to the quality of the sound whether it's a drum the drum beat drum beats are usually very uh, sharp snappy uh, keys are usually drag out much longer uh, later I can highlight to you when we go to a slower song then guitar sounds things like that uh, the duration of that that musical note, if you can uh, get the sense of it. Okay, this is the next song. What I would what I would love to, to see actually in this part where the lights come in, right, is to have maybe just just the the back lights coming first and maybe some of the stage lights and then as the song progress then we, we start to bring in different layers so maybe now you put the back lights on and then after that when the when the this chicka 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 thing comes in right then you start flashing different this this different sets of lights so they so when you split them out into different cues instead of having them in all the same queue right uh, you can flash it uh, very instinctively uh, like you just feel it so the good thing about flashing is that it's like uh, playing playing along with the music one two three four and and so on so you have two that alternate let's say you have one set on the front of house here you have another set on uh, this this set over here you just put them uh, with two fingers and then you flash flash them to and fro moving right along
Okay, so this is a good example. Let's reverse, uh, rewind. So when you hear the oh, release all your glory, blah blah blah, then oh, all of this for your glory. So as you can see, if you if you think of like some you think of musical terms, there's like one verse or, or like one line and then another line. The, the all is dragged out to to feel the same time as your all of this of your glory. So what this means is that you can play with it where you just push push your fader. So for example this is my, my fader here. I push my fader. Oh I love this for your glory. Uh, so so the, the duration of my push follows the the duration uh, of that all oh. so so something like this. Let's go back again. Yeah, uh, I'm not I'm not getting it fully, but you you try to get the sense. So when it goes all, I go all the way on up. And when the next all of this for your glory, the next part comes in, I push it down. So it ons and off according alternate or not alternately with the with the verse. Or if you are if you are uh, well versed with uh, mu how music works, which I'm not, I don't pretend to be. So uh, something like one bar for goes on all of it for your all. Where the where the all drags out, all go on all of this for your glory. You bring it down, and that that is one that's one way uh, to do it. And then you can stack it, stack it with the drum beat. The snare one, two, three. Hear the drums. Two. So I think this this uh, whoever did this was trying to uh, sing with that blood drum beat uh, drum beat with uh, the flashing, so that's nice. So you can do two things at the same time. So oh, all of this for your glory. Oh. So one maybe one hand can do it with the drums. Another hand will do it with this, all of this, for your glory, sinking along with it. So, uh, it it helps to, to blend everything together. And then you hear, so you hear, and this part of the song there's a chicky 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 donut kind of kind of thing. You can really try something different, like a, a different kind of stroke or something like that. All right, let's move right along. I think I try to uh, talk too much by driving a point. Let's go to the next part here. What better way to start the year than in the house of God, Amen? Okay, maybe you can observe the face lights right now. Face lights previously. Uh, we have the face lights on the normal face lights that coverage uh, that covers everyone. After that, suddenly now there is a lesser what's it called lesser coverage over here. And how it looks like, I think it looks like the, the corner the corner light coming from the left side here. Let's reverse rewind it a bit. So when this happens, when this happens, I right, try to turn on the second light uh, a bit more first, so that you don't lose that. Uh, you don't make everything dim. Uh, uh, what what we saw here. Can I hear an amen? 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 
what we saw here is that everything felt much dimmer and then this, this light came a little back on to compensate so try to get the blending a bit uh, smoother and at this point of time at this point of time I hate using that word ah that phrase so look at this light center spot here uh, this, this center spot here can bring on a little earlier at the same time when the corner corner face light is coming on just so that it complements it when the, when the give him that back light here or at least try so what happens here is that this corner spot is uh, much wider than the others or I'm not sure where about the others but it's, it's much wider so that we can get a uh, wider coverage because the worship leaders are sometimes uh, centered here or sometimes they are over here sometimes they are center center and to, to avoid uh, trying to get too, too many things uh, right instead we just widen the beam here and this hopefully it will get the left one the right one or the center one uh, things like that uh, okay so this is definitely the corner face light because you can quite easy, you can really tell that the, the light is on the left side or to us the left side of the face and the shadows on the right side here and the, the back light also really adds to the mood of it so if you take a look at this compare it to, from this to this now that the, the keys are on it, it really adds to that, that ambience or the mood to, to fill it up and to complement it as well so let's move right along as well I think I'm taking too long now uh, talk about uh... okay observe the LED wall you, you must be wondering why is the LED wall flickering in this video so just a side note is that uh, because of the, the the pulsing rate the refresh rate or the whatever the rate is that the LED wall is coming out and the recording frame rate that it was shot on uh, I did not check my frame rate and uh, because I always I shoot and uh, varsity as well and I shoot over here as well so I have to, to keep remembering oh this is this frame rate something like this frame rate and, uh, but why we just bear it so what I would say is that the LED wall here I I really want you to pay attention to how this affects your light beams so already on the left side the, the beams are much harder to, to see uh, I mean on the right side over here the beams are much harder to see because uh, probably because of the haze but when you see how the, the light comes in right these are I think at this time it is about 10% 20% 30%-ish and another thing is that most of these graphs most of these graphics especially for slow songs I intentionally bring down the level uh, I think below 60% so imagine if I had uh, leave it at a, a normal level and not adjust it and push it not push the, the highlights down and bring down or increase the, the amount of blacks you will have to go even much uh, even lower like you say 10% 5% things like that to, to get this if to get this look so observe the, the light beams now you can see a bit of here and there a bit of light beams here and there and it really depends on the amount of haze that stays within this area oh just to show you the what uh, what the what these lights are actually doing you can see this one is really giving the uh, backlight here this guy as well here whereas for these three guys uh, they are they're probably not within range for these three lights here because we are not seeing that silhouette so why am I So now we have now that we have more lights on 
it, it gets uh, the con the overall contrast is uh, decreased. So your lights is competing with your LED graphics, and the what you will risk getting is actually uh, just a whole bunch of white uh, or a whole bunch of light bright lights coming through here. So having a decrease in your LED wall, you'll be able to see that sharp lines of your beams here. It, uh, the contrast is uh, really key. It really brings out what you want to show. So. Let's say you want to, to to show your LED wall more prominently. I would suggest that uh, work together. Lights will have to bring down the intensity, then bring up LED wall intensity. If not, what what you're gonna get is uh, what we saw something like what we saw just now, uh, or uh, even worse than this lah. This wasn't so bad because I was there to like okay enough enough. So. You can bring your lights up to the ceiling like this so as you can see where another thing I want to point out is where your lights uh, start off is just as important so our lights on the uh, wash beams over here start off in the ceiling you can start off anywhere so this is our starting position and it allows us to bring that fanning uh, the, the uh, pan the tube, tube movement downwards towards the audience so think of the difference between from pan uh, tilt from stage up versus tilt from uh, ceiling down and you're gonna get a lot more of that reflected light when you start off the, the bounce light from uh, here bounce uh, hits the ceiling and it feels you can't really see because I darken uh, the video is very dark and uh, the, the bounce light hits everyone here and it just gets gives that uh, feel, feel effect much softer Whereas if you are going from bottom up, it's a different experience. I would say. Uh, think of it like like your lights are pointing in a certain direction or uh, pushing or directing the users, uh, the audience like eyes, congregations eyes in a certain direction. So whether you want them to look up or you want them to focus down, things like that. It's a it's a very s s uh, small detail, but once you can start to think of these things then you can uh, be able to to think more dynamically so over here we have uh, less face lights I think one on the corner here but overall less face lights uh, the thing about the face lights is that they shine on the stage at a certain angle and once we, we feel we feel it with the overall face lights it, it increases the overall brightness it brings up the brightness we have a less uh, blacks darks and then if it, it feels like a bit like the house lights where when you turn on all the lights you you don't really get the, the atmosphere or the contrast of the mood you know how we see our lights is really because of how dark the overall atmosphere is and then we can concentrate on uh, that the directed one one light that directs our attention so uh, I know I say most of the time you can turn off all your turn off your LED uh, not, not say most of the time but you can turn off the LED so that it doesn't compete with your lights but okay in this case what I want to highlight is that you don't have to turn on completely to zero you can always leave it to let's say 10 percent 5 percent 20 percent ish and it, it is uh it's not like a hard and fast rule or a binary one and zero where you say oh turn off is better you can always once you get once you understand the concept play around with uh knowing when you can push a little higher or when to go a little lower Let's uh, where we let's go up. All right, look at uh, when this uh, back back spots come on. So this this extra for 
Black Spots come on at, at around the time when the rest of the singers start singing as well. Uh, you can kind of hear them and kind of see their hands are yeah, holding the mics to their face. Notice how the face light is only in the center area because we want to compare compared to having a lot of face lights over here right you you are really trying to control where the audience will see so we want them to concentrate on the main singer the one that is singing and you also don't uh, want to bring their attention to more of the middle area rather than to wander left and right left and right because uh, our, our eyes are drawn to brighter areas and we we have to kind of understand that how our lights are, are will direct the, the the people who are watching this experience of experiencing this let's go forward Oh, you take a look at the, the light here. Okay. Now you can see the beam. Now you see the beam. Then I turn off these four beams, uh, four, four lights here, so that I can see the graphics more clearly, so that there's more punch, there's more contrast. Because as you can see here, uh, with, even for the center beam, you can see for the center beam here, that you can almost you can no longer see uh, the the rest of the beam you can only start to see here after that is it's kind of gone except for a little bit here on the black areas here and that is why I turn turn the other four lights off so that we can bring bring out the LED LED wall and and then uh, if I'm not wrong after this I turn it back off and on back the lights again. Yeah, about this time. Then lower, lower the LED wall. Keep it to a very low uh, amount, and then we can start bringing back the other four lights here. So keep in mind, work together as a team, and make sure that what you're doing is not uh, competing with uh, the rest of uh, the lights. Let's go forward. At yeah, this part, I would say the the lights turn off too early. Okay, this turn off, turn off, and then turn off again. I'm like, hey, uh, we're still singing. There's still uh, music playing along. Keep the lights on. Keep the keep most of these lights still can be on. You can keep, or you can keep the center center spot center spot here maybe you can keep these two or you can keep the fourth floor or just choose i mean just choose two sets to keep on leave it on until the we, they keep singing keep singing keep singing and then keep it there because now it really feels very bad it feels like there's uh, nothing to really help help the music so at this this part where it's just then you can just keep one light on yeah keep one light on with the face light to complement it that will be perfect uh, but nothing is perfect yeah so you can even turn the face light off at this part this this particular moment and then turn it back on uh, when she starts singing all right so at this part already there should be some extra light just one spot uh, one spot here uh, this this four these four lights here and observe how that that edge light is coming along yeah 
So let's take a look at it again. Okay, listen to how listen to the verse and listen to how she uh, sings this. Here I hear lift my hands in worship. That's one line. Here I stand before my king. That's another that's another line. I behold your glory. That's another line. Everything changes. Everything changes. So that is one full uh, verse. Then it starts all over again. So for that one full verse, what what I would say, push the the cue up very very slowly, such that the 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 full push or the zero to one hundred feels that one verse. So because the the song is very slow, drag out your your fade in time, drag out your fade in time, such that it, it feels that one verse and it fit it fits it feels like it fits that timing of the song. Uh, everything changes. Everything changes. That's the that's the end. That's the end of the. Everything changes. Everything. And that's the end. That's the end of the the one one push of that one cue. So you can think of it like that instead of just thinking push fast uh, push fast push slow you don't think about how fast or how slow and then yeah the, that's the point I want to drive across uh, you have that have that reason to support uh, everything that we want to do mm. whether whether they start singing and then we push push uh, something like up to complement it or whether it's a full verse, a full line, a full bar, a full a note. Uh, how long is the note? Uh, how how? What's the quality of the sound of the note? And then uh, just uh, take a look at the LED graphics right now. Is uh, a lot of blacks intentionally a lot of blacks that I, I try to keep in the library so that uh, it, how how. How I see it is that when you when we when you fill up the the whole space with uh, lights, in the same way we fill up the whole canvas with one one color or one particular paint. Uh, it doesn't look like anything. It just look like it looks very flat. So when we introduce a lot more contrast, a lot more blacks, it adds adds to that depth that we are looking at right now, and. And I also want to say that the, the timing of this this particular change was really good. Yeah, we, especially because uh, the the graphics looks very similar, and then but then the look the the amount and the look the intensity is very different as well, and then it comes in at the right time. And the. The graphics has that sense of depth because you can see a lot of small to big things, all these little battle like battle like stuff moving along, and then it doesn't overwhelm your your lights. It doesn't overwhelm your lights because you can still see a lot of your light beams. You can see a lot of movement that comes is coming in towards you with this uh, with this particular graphic. And then before that, before that we can. We are actually using if you this you start looking at it from the very start of the song right so you can see you can see the very small very small fits of it like maybe 10 25 10 percent of it and we start moving it slowly as the song builds up we push a little bit a little bit and then palm comes in here and we have a uh yeah so con control is really important. We just want to put the right amount at the right places instead of uh, do doing it everywhere. We want to do it tastefully, and it really changes the way things look. Yeah. So control your intensity. Hundred percent is not the always 
the best way just because you can go 100 doesn't mean you should uh, more is not always better alright that's all for now